I do support a single payer system, and I think she's gone now, but here in House District 8, we have perhaps the most passionate advocate of this um, in the entire state, and that's Michelle Swenson, who, oh, she's here? There she is, you're blending into all of the blue there, Michelle. Uh, and so I uh, admire her for her work, and I want to tell you that I think it's, it's having a great impact. Um, I always, you know, in, in a perfect world, thought that the single payer system was a way to go. I didn't know that we could ever accomplish it in, in, in America. Um, we all remember Hillary Clinton back in the early 90s and, and the grief that was caused around the country with the commercials and so on. And certainly uh, that type of uh, negativity would be present, I'm sure, when we start to move down this track. But I look at this as a moral issue. I look at it as a, look at it as a quality of life issue. And as I said earlier, I look at it as an economic stimulation issue. Uh, you can't do a, a whole bunch in a society and in, the, and in a state if people aren't healthy. If, if 800,000 of us can't go to the doctor, 200,000 of them children. If we do have health insurance but we're afraid to use it because we're going to lose it. Um, the progress that I've seen in people coming around to this idea has been phenomenal in the last 15 years or so. As I go around and speak with folks, uh, I have very few who say I'm, I'm not in support of that. The Colorado Medical Society, when I sat before their board, most of the doctors there, if not all, are single-payer advocates. And I, I hope President Obama can make this a federal issue and we can eventually move to that. But I'm willing to get the ball rolling in the Colorado legislature. I would love to champion this issue. Um, finally, it, it's just, it fiscally makes sense. It saves over a billion dollars for the state of Colorado. It saves providers. It saves patients. It saves businesses. And so I've talked to some Republican businessmen, and when we talk about this, they no longer scoff and kick because they say, this is going to save you money. It's going to save you headaches. It's going to save you from having to worry about employees leaving to go somewhere else just for health insurance. You're not going to have to do all that paperwork anymore. You're not going to have to pay the premiums. And so it makes sense. There would be some kinks to, to be worked out. And when people say, oh... We don't want socialized medicine. Look at Canada. Look at uh, Asia. Look at these places. Well, there are some good places and there are some bad places. If you do a research on this and you go into some of the Asian countries, uh, things are working nearly flawlessly. Even lots of people think that the Canadian system is great. So keep up the great work, Michelle. Uh, I think you have three champions here for the system. And uh, we're getting closer, I believe, every day. The mood in America on this issue is changing.